Hey, hey, this is Fabian Amliker and welcome to this video. Today's topic, I want to show you the tool called Ching. It's a screen capture tool and it's really easy to use and I use it quite a lot. You can use it as a screen capture only to show pictures, but you also can use it uh, to create short videos. And when I say short, it's like uh, for five minutes or shorter, of course. So. I just want to quickly show you how this works. If you can see up here this yellow thing, it's called the Ching Sun. When it's installed, whenever you hover over this, you get this view here. And let's just directly dive in how to capture a screen. You just click on this here, as you see, capture. And then you get this kind of a grid here where you can choose the range that you want. So let's say I take my cover photo here on my Facebook fan page. Now you have the choice. Here you can see the, pic the pixels. Now you can choose capture the image. Or do you want to capture video in this range here? You can redo the selection. Let's say, oh, okay. I did not get everything that I wanted. I want to include this one or whatever. You can redo it or you can cancel it, of course. So the first thing I show you is how we do capture an image. Now, as you can see, we have here the whole image. What you can do and really easily do is now play around with some arrows. So you want to show somebody, hey, look, this handsome guy over here. Or you put some additional text on me. So watch this cover, whatever. Then you can move it around as you want to. You can also do frames. Let's say you want to put a frame on this one here. Or you can also do the highlight stuff, like you want to highlight, for example, my name, do it in red. Then down here you can choose the colors, you can also do it in yellow, in blue, whatever you want to. And you always have the chance here to click undo. So you say, oh no, I wanted the color before, I don't even need that, I go back, so now... I'm at the beginning. So next thing you can do is you give it a name. Here you just have the, the date of today and some additional numbers that Ching chooses by itself. But of course you can here also give your own name. Let's say Fabian's cover photo. Now what you can do is you share it directly on screencast.com. You probably have been on this page already before when you got a, a print screen or a video that you were watching there. Um, of course, what you have to do before is to register at screencast.com. But as soon as you have done that and installed your Ching, you can connect them. And look what happens when I click here. It does now upload the picture. And what you can do then is you can directly send the link to this. If you now click on view screencast, now you get to this page and you have exactly the cover photo with the picture that you wanted to. And here you have the link. So now you can actually send the link to any people you want to show this and they can have a look at your picture. So this is one thing that you can do. Let's go back. And now the cool thing is the next one I want to show you here if you go to history. So I don't have to take the picture again. I just can go to history and see here. Okay, that was my last one I did. Click here on view. And here we go. We are back. So let me close the history. So next thing I want to show you is Either you do this uh, share via screencast, then of course you can save it. So if you click on save, you will just save it as a PNG file in any folder you want. Or you can copy 
if you just want to do a copy paste to a word file or where, wherever you can use that then of course you can also click on cancel if you say oh I don't need this anymore and here you also have the possibility to customize your buttons so you can actually take away some of them you can create new buttons whatever you like to I just use the standard one here and another thing is if you have Snagit, and that might be another video where I show you this tool, it's also screen capture software, but it has much more possibilities and options, options than uh, Jing. The only thing is that uh, Snagit actually costs you money. I think you can also download the test version, which is free. But the good thing about Jing is it's completely free to use. So I will show you then the link where you can download it later. So for now, this was actually the screen capture with just a picture. I click on cancel now. Now let's do the next one. If I click on capture and say, okay, let's go back to my fan page. I take the same range here. Just want to show you how it works. If you do the video, what happens now is you will have the chance to create a video. Now the microphone is on. Let's just do a test. Hello, hello. Can you hear me in this video? And I go to stop. Just because that we don't have the double voice. So what you see now is you have a video with like uh, probably were two or three seconds. Let's just quickly listen to it. Let's just do a test. Hello, hello. Can you hear me in this video? As you have seen, that was actually the video. So now what you can do is also use, you share it on screencast, the same as we did before with the picture. You can save it. That would then be an SWF file. Or cancel here the buttons again. And with the video, you can now edit in Camtasia if you have this. That's also another great tool where you can do all the videos. By the way, I use Camtasia to record this video right now, where you can also see my uh, picture on the lower right corner. So I go to cancel here. So that are actually already the options that you have. You can capture either a picture only or a video. You can have a look at the history. So whenever you know, oh, some days ago I already recorded a video or I, I took a picture of something, you can go back to the history and get it again there. And here in the settings, you have some possibilities that you can choose. Say you want to launch it on a startup, you want to enable video hotkeys. I haven't um, configured them. It's just a few of the options that you can use. As you can see, this is really, really uh, a nice tool. It's easy to it's easy to use. You can put some arrows it in it. Um, you can put some additional text on it. It's really, really easy, and I like it a lot. So let me just quickly show you the site where you can get it is techsmith.com. If you go there, you click here on products. Now you can see Snagit is from them. Then also the Camtasia and of course the Jing tool. So if you go to Jing, you see here you have free download. Then for Camtasia, you see that you have a free trial. So if you don't have the software yet and you want to test it out, go ahead and download it. I think you get it for 30 days for free. And the same here for Snagit, you get a free trial. So I would really recommend to download all three of them. It's really great to create videos or to create, uh, also if you want to do case studies with lots of print screens and additional text that you want to use in your intermar internet marketing, um, go ahead and download the tools. They're easy to use. Jing is free, so you can you have nothing to lose. It's really a great tool. And um, yeah, that's about it for the video of today. If you like the content that I uh, provide to you, just go ahead to my uh, fan page in Facebook. 
like it or go to YouTube and subscribe to my channel so you will see when I put up new videos right now I'm putting up quite a lot of videos because I'm doing a challenge where I have to put up lots of videos and this also helps me to create the videos so that's it for today thanks for watching and goodbye